What's up creators, Taylor Lewis here from the Film Creator Pro team. Check out the latest video we just dropped in our online filmmaking course. Enjoy. Okay, this video is gonna be a little different than the rest of our tutorials because this isn't something really we or anyone could teach. What I wanna talk about today is more of a mindset, which is people think that having a nice camera is gonna make your footage look great. Or if you shoot in a great location, your footage will look amazing. But this isn't true. I mean, it helps, but it's not a foolproof thing. Then on top of that, the perfect location, nine times out of 10, doesn't even exist. As a filmmaker, you need to learn to work with what you got, whether it's shooting on an iPhone or shooting in a location that is just okay. So here's one little trick that we've used to make boring locations look epic. I call it movie magic. I know it sounds super cheesy, but the term helps me rethink what I'm trying to shoot and see it from a different angle. What it is is taking a crappy or okay location and turning it into the perfect one, or just faking a location altogether. The best way I have found to learn this idea of movie magic is by watching what other filmmakers do and applying it to my work. So I'm gonna give you a few examples of what we've done and what other filmmakers have done, and then you can see how you can apply those to your work. The first one I wanna talk about is the movie A River Runs Through It by Robert Redford. If you've never seen this movie, you need to stop this tutorial right now and go and watch it because it's fantastic. This movie was shot in Montana and one of the biggest things that it revolves around is fly fishing. Now, if you've ever seen the movie, you would think that this river that they fish at all the time was out in the boonies that you'd have to hike at least 10 miles just to get to. But the truth is it is right next to a main highway in Montana, no joke. Here's a picture. See, here's the highway. At first glance, this probably seemed like the worst location to shoot at, and I'm sure Robert Redford looked for a better one, but ultimately they landed on this one for whatever reason. So they took this location from being an okay spot and turned it into the perfect one by simply framing out the road. Incredible. It's because of that example, we learned to do that with our content. One example of this is from a mini doc we made a couple years ago. If you were to look at these shots, you would think that we were way in the back country, but the reality is most of this was shot 100 feet away from a parking lot. But the most amazing shot was this one, this is the hero shot of the piece, and we literally got this on the side of the road. I mean, I obviously took these at different times of the year, but you still get the idea. Crazy, right? You would have never thought that's what the location actually looked like when we were shooting. Okay, now let's look at one of our Amazon commercials. In this video, for whatever reason, we had to reshoot these tight shots of her scanning the barcodes. To do that, there are two ways of going about this. One was spending about five to $10,000 to go back up to Seattle, rent the location, and hire all the crew and the actor back again. Now we could have done that. It would have fit into the budget and we would have been fine. Or we could save money and shoot it here and get a hand double. And that's what we did. We went to the nearest thrift store and found a sweater that matched our actors and then shot it in Burke's kitchen. And there you go, movie magic. And no one ever knew, even Amazon. Well, until now. So keep that between us, please. So we were shooting this ad for this company where the story was following this guy as he was restoring the car. The client wanted the hero shot of the piece to be this guy driving his newly restored car into the sunset. Magical, right? But sadly, you can't fully restore a car in the six hours we had to shoot. So it would have been easy for us to say, well, the car doesn't run, so we just can't get that shot. But we were determined to find a way. So instead, we towed the car to a road and we got three crew members and had them push the car to get it up to speed. Then they went and hid in some bushes as we got the shot of the guy driving his car into the sunset. This is movie magic. So the moral of this video is when you encounter a problem, whether it's a sucky location, a shot you need to redo or whatever, sometimes the solution is a lot simpler than you might think. And that's all movie magic is or cheating location, whatever you want to call it. It is solving a problem in a creative way. All right, that's a wrap for this video. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to learn more about filmmaking or pursue a filmmaking career, please check out our online course, Film Creator Pro. In there, we have over five hours of content. We'll share with you everything there is to know about filmmaking, like how to direct actors, how to write, sound hacks, lighting hacks, pretty much anything you need to know. In our opinion, it's a pretty rad course and we would love for you to be a part of it. So please check it out at filmcreatorpro.com. And while you're there, sign up for our free 40 minute training where we share our top 10 secrets to a six figure income. And don't forget to do that YouTube thing to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, there you go. That was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time on our channel.